Hello there, this is Dango1867. Hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo and welcome to the return of the UFC Pick series. Today's uh, UFC Picks is UFC on Fuel TV 8. It is uh, Silver vs. Stan and it's live from Japan this weekend. I've uh, returned to the series because I've recently bought UFC Undisputed 3 and I thought that'd make a really good background to bring the series back because I'm a massive MMA fan and uh, I enjoy making these videos. So hopefully you like watching them and I'll keep making them. So we'll jump straight in. The main event is, like I say, Silver vs. Stan. Uh, Silver's homecoming to Japan. It's a uh, a big fight for him as he's just coming off a loss to Rich Franklin. He's coming towards the end of his career but he's still very much got power in his hands and he'll definitely be looking to excite the Japanese fans on his return. Uh, he's still got very much the power to knock out anyone in any division for me. He's just so powerful if he gets you with those trademark hooks. But Stan, a great all-rounder, solid striking, a really good wrestling background but he comes in after a loss against Michael Bisping. Uh, Bisping was a pretty much a big underdog in that fight and uh, he pretty much had his way with his boxing skills and Stan literally just didn't have an idea how to get past it. Uh, but I think in this if Stan can weather that early storm, uh, try and use his wrestling to slow up Silver and eventually tire him out, I think he'll get the uh, decision in the end. The uh, next fight on the card is uh, Struve versus Hunt. Struve comes in off the back of a nice four fight win streak. He's very much a young up and comer from Europe. Great all rounder, a massive, massive bloke. He's uh, got a, an amazing reach, but he's also got some of the most slick submissions I've ever seen from a heavyweight. So he's looking to win this and really push himself up for a title shot. Hunt, who's also returning to Japan, is a big star in K1 and Pride. Uh, K1 kickboxing standard uh, kickboxer as they say and that means he is coming with power in his hands and his kicks the much smaller man in this fight so he's going to have to get inside the reach of Struve to actually do any damage but he's definitely if he can get there and land something I think uh, Struve could end up going to sleep but for me I think Struve will use his reach he'll keep it at distance and he'll eventually exploit Hunt's lack of uh, a real good submission defense in catching something pretty early in the fight I'm reckoning round two he'll submit him with something nice so the next fight I want to talk about is uh, Sanchez versus Gomi. Sanchez is on a bit of a poor run at the minute. He comes in with a loss and uh, he's dropped back down to 155 to have another crack at that gold. Uh, he's, he's pretty much been up and down in the weights lately because he's not been on a good run. But he's definitely a, a solid fighter. He's a good all-rounder. Tries to grind people out. He's got good wrestling and he'll definitely be looking to get Gomi on his back. Uh, Gomi, he's an absolute Japanese legend from his pride days. He's coming towards the end of his career a bit like Silver. This is a bit of a homecoming and if he loses it might be a, a good buy as well. He's uh, still got amazing KO power in his, uh, his hands and uh, for me, he'll try and use his wrestling to nullify Sanchez's wrestling and I think that's the way he'll win this fight. For me, he'll try and keep it standing as long as he can and just try and catch him with some of those uh, Gomi bombs and for me I think if he does that he will win the fight and he'll definitely catch Sanchez with a couple of right hands to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed that um, hopefully you'll enjoy the UFC on the weekend and if you like this vid please rate, comment and subscribe and if you'd like to see more about the uh, UFC please let me know and I'll catch you later guys.